Hey guys. So it's a beautiful spring day here in the Dallas area. I'm in Plano right now, actually waiting to get a table at the Cafe Brazil. Um, it's a great little coffee shop type place you can go and they have free Wi-Fi and it's open 24 hours. Anyway, I get to do this because um, my wonderful husband, Jim, is taking our two older boys camping um, this weekend. And um, Alan has great, amazing nurses that are on top of his care. Um, arranged it so that I can um, get away for a day. So, very thankful for all that. Um, so while I'm waiting to get my table here, I just wanted to um, post a little video to explain what I'm doing. Um, I kind of had some soul searching last night. I was alone. Finally, I don't ever get to be alone, hardly ever. Um, and I was just thinking like, okay, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, like I don't need anything more than that to feel like um, I have a fulfilled life or have meaning and purpose. Like that's actually pretty much all I need to feel like those things are true. Um, but I do have this desire to do this music thing and um, I kind of just gut checked myself last night a little bit. I'm just like, why? Why do I want to do this? Do I just want attention because I was the youngest of five children and, you know, got kind of lost in the shuffle sometimes because I was a quiet kid. Like, <laughs> like, what am I really doing here? Why am I doing this? Um, so, you know, I had to kind of think about it um, a little bit and pray about it, but I think what I'm doing and why I keep coming back to music and songwriting is um, I really feel like I have something to offer um, through songs and not that I think everyone's going to agree with that and not that I think that what I write is going to you know, be everyone's cup of tea. Um, I don't think I'm the best vocalist. I know I'm not the best vocalist. I know I'm not in like the top 3%, maybe not top 5% of vocalists in the world. Um, but I guess when I listen to music and I listen to the songs that are out there, I just, I don't know, I always have had this feeling for a long time that I have something to offer that's just a bit different, a different perspective. Um, you know, something that has hope, that has truth. You know, I'm a strong Christian, so that has a lot to do with it. Um, but yeah, it, it's hard for me to put it into words exactly, but I just wanted to have, explain myself a little bit of what, what am I doing. Um, yeah, and I don't have any presumptions or pretensions about, um, you know, how many people or viewers I'm ever going to get. Um, you know, I just want to start playing out more as I have more time. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to explain kind of why I'm doing this and, you know, why I'm not doing this. I don't want it to be for like, um, look at me or um, applaud me or that kind of thing. Um, I know that can be hard to avoid um, that temptation. Um, I like many others um, crave affirmation, um, but I don't want that to be at all what this is about, um, because if it is, that's, it's not going to go well, you know, there's never going to be enough attention or affirmation or whatever, so I know that, and um, that's not what I want, I just, I just want to put the songs that I have out there, because I have a lot of them, and it's going to take me forever to even get them out. Um, and I think there's enough of them that have value and that I want people to hear and be able to be blessed by in the same way that I'm blessed by um, music and songs that speak to me. So anyways, I'll stop rambling. I hope you guys are having a good day and I hope that you're able to um, get some time to ask yourself, what am I doing and why? And think about what it is you want to do even if it seems like a huge mountain or if it seems daunting or if you're a little worried about your own motives or whatever is going on in this COVID time is a crazy time for 
just gut checking and, and you know like for us as Christians to gut check ourselves and like get back involved in church that's something my husband and I are thinking a lot about too um, because it's been hard things have been weird we've been in this transition phase for a lot of reasons Sundays are hard because of our special needs child and um, I won't get into all that right now but we're trying to figure out how we can get back involved in church um, because that's a huge priority really important to us to be not just going to a church and sitting there and listening, but to be in people's lives, to have a community of people that we're accountable to, um, that we're holding accountable, that we're in each other's lives and encouraging each other in one way. So, all right, I'll really stop rambling now. But anyway, I hope um, that you all are doing well, and thanks for listening.